Hi guys, welcome to the Popcorn Junkies. Hi. And uh, I used to ask for drinks that were on the rocks before I got 16 years sober. That's just six, add a 10 to the front of it. That's my six year chip. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna sit there with it like that, like the character from the I Avengers. Want a chip. You're not having a chip, you can have a chip. So this is On The Rocks, which is the new film by Sophia Coppola. Uh, obviously the daughter Hollywood of royalty. Hollywood royalty, daughter of Francis Ford Coppola. Um, she directed The Virgin Suicides, which there was a huge excitement about, wasn't there? And it was, it was a, the best film, actually. It was a rich film, it was a rich film. She did do a film, I'm just reminded, looking at her filmography, she did a film a couple of years ago called The Beguiled, which we all really liked, with Colin Farrell. I and didn't Nick like Hulken. it as much as everybody else, because no. it was a remake, wasn't it? The That's Clint right. Eastwood, but yeah, no, it was We okay. really like that. Then there's obviously one of her most famous films is Lost in Translation, which is key to this film, because of course it stars Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson. And it's one of Izzy's favourite films. Oh, I thought it was over, over. Do, did the you? Time. I must admit, I, I enjoyed it, but I think I couldn't work out whether it was just lazy or mm. whether it was just kind of trading on reputation type thing. Both you of know? those things. Oh, right. Oh, okay. There yeah. you go. Uh, but I'm, I am an enormous self-professed Bill Murray fan. He only has to sort of look to the left, look to the right, look up, look down, say not very much, open a door and I'm just on the floor. Oh, I mean, I'm an enormous Bill Murray fan. Uh, this stars Bill Murray. <laughs> and uh, it also stars, interesting, Lee, uh, Rashida Jones. Who, she's great. I Rashida think. Jones, yeah, she's Quincy Jones's daughter. No. Yeah, yeah. Best track by Quincy Jones, if you haven't heard it, go and download on Spotify, The Dude. Okay, yes. Greatest yes, track. Yes. Forget all his Michael Jackson produced stuff. Mm. So really, it's a very simple, very short story. It's on Apple TV. It's on streaming at the moment. It did have a limited release at the cinema. Um, it's a very short film. It's about 90 minutes long. And... Um, it's basically the story of a daughter, a grown-up daughter. She has two children. Mm -hmm. uh, she has a husband. They appear to be happily married. They live in New York. Um, but just the kernel of doubt creeps in where she thinks her husband's having an affair. He's away and, an awful he's lot. He's away, away an awful lot. He works with lots of pretty women. She's the sort of stay-at-home mom. She's an author. She's a mm -hmm. writer, but a lot of her work revolves around home. Her husband is out, sort of tech, tech genius, making lots of money, doing all these kind of things. Lots of foreign travel. And so naturally, she worries, is their relationship on the rocks? Mm -hmm. And I thought, in quite a neat, very simple conceit, she turns to her father, bizarrely, who's a sort of roguish, raffish kind of... He's politically yeah. incorrect. But therein lies the first problem for me, is he's the very last person you'd ever turn to for marital advice. Right. So <laughs> what she does is she inveigles her, her father into... Well, no, she doesn't. She shares with her father that she's worried yeah. about the fact that he might be having an affair. And her father sets off uh, her mistrust and her doubt With great glee, and her fear. The sense that he's, he's yeah. well into finding yeah. out this mystery. So he essentially he triggers her into what becomes a sort of investigative film of yeah. her trying to work out if her husband's having an affair. Sort of urged on the fires, flame, fan, fanning of the fires by her father, Bill Murray. And really, it's an opportunity to cue a father-daughter relationship. It's actually the whole film is a is a way of cueing Bill Murray. Yeah, but it's also a way of cueing Bill Murray as a dad of a daughter. I didn't think that. Uh, it would have worked better for me if I'd have felt that, but I felt it was pure grandstanding. But you're not a dad most. and you're not you don't no, have and you're not true. a dad with daughters. No, that's very true, but but and she says she says at some point uh, I mean I think it's more than halfway through the film. I wish you weren't enjoying this so much because it's my life. Yes. And and in that sense, obviously she's only got one father, so he's the only one she yeah. can turn to. But I, 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 that just bothered me slightly that and I do like Bill Murray. I always thought until this I don't know film, if you do. I, I don't know if you do. I think you're saying that because you're really worried about me. What do you think of really? What really? What do you like him for? Well, that, that made me interrogate that. Yeah, I what? had to go right back to Ghostbusters. And then right. I thought of, um, yeah, who's finding Ghostbusters? Actually, it was funny that it was this morning. And then also, what was the thing that he... Um, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. But what else has he ever done? Yeah. And I think even in all of those, I preferred the surrounding cast like Dan Aykroyd and whatever. Sure. He's too full of it. He's very full of himself. That right. is part of the charm, and I get that. Mm. And if he's on form, it can be very funny. Didn't he have a part at the very end of the John of the? Um... He was in the Dead Can't Die. He was the main yes. policeman. Yes. Was, I think he was very good in that. Yeah, but they kept it very short. I mean, he's the master of not having to do a lot. He's your classic yeah, they need kind to of. To keep his screen presence right. very short, and I felt in this that she. She actually gave him a bit too much, though he hung himself a bit, for me. For right. Me. I thought, you know, it must be very hard being Sofia Coppola, being the daughter of probably one of the most sort of seismically important directors, indie directors, Ever. who's remained indie as well, by and large, who made, you know, Apocalypse Now, The Godfathers and all that kind of stuff. 
and I wondered whether what you were getting in this was a little bit of a autobiography of Sofia Coppola's relationship with her own father. Because oh, I, I could, didn't, I didn't even get that. You mm. might, it would be. Well, I could well imagine that she's got great skin in the game when it comes to a, a dad who probably has some slightly out moded and dated yeah. ideas about femininity and women so i i found i mean don't get me wrong this is an extended riff this is a little it reminded me a little bit of that jim jarmusch film coffee and cigarettes you know yeah. it was an extended thaw and i went to this knowing you'd seen it before knowing you were very underwhelmed by it think not expecting a lot and i think going into this film not expecting a lot is the best way to go into it because i went in not expecting a lot and i was absolutely charmed Oh, were you? I was really charmed. I, I, I thought it was, I liked its unhurried pace. It reminded me of the fix that I'd got almost used to getting every year from Woody Allen. It until, reminded me of an early Woody Until Allen, Woody yeah. Allen's whole sort of reputation became, sort of was in tatters and, and now it's just dubious to like anything. All so complicated, yeah. And a bit self-knowing. It gave me a really much needed hit of arched, witty, caustic, observatory sort of humour mm. parked within a very real thing for a lot of people in relationships which is the worry and fear is someone having an affair i thought it dealt with the clues very nicely and i thought it was really quite touching and amusing about i think it was as much about how unconnected they were as it was about how connected they oh, were i would agree with that and yeah. in that sense it didn't strike me as odd that she didn't really reach out to him. No. He lured her into his dark and horrible thoughts of people and yeah. the world. Yeah. And what happens when en anyone worries about anyone else having an affair is it's a little bit like becoming an alcoholic. You get addicted to wanting to know. And I thought she did quite a good job. Yeah, I would agree with that too. Yeah. Being tipped over the point by her father. Yeah. And I think we were invited to kind of judge her dad in not a particularly pleasant way. He, yeah. well, he wasn't helping his daughter at no, all. No, no. Uh, yeah, for me, I mean, I thought the direction was good. I thought the um, acting was good. Mm. I thought the writing was good. I thought it was beautiful. Um, I, I mean, thought it was very, I mean, very the, funny. I mean, the only... I laughed out loud. I was like, I, I, was, I was in there on the sofa on my own. I seem to spend lots of evenings on my own at the moment. It's because <laughs> people don't so. like me anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I was laughing out loud. I think I think it worked despite Bill Murray rather than because of him. Oh, I in totally the sense that, disagree. No, I know, I, know, I know you would and you really... And, and I mean... Because she's so good. Well, I and thought she was she, as good. I, I, I she, thought she... She's like a straight man to his yeah, whatever. Yeah. And, and because it's her story we're following. Mm. And very rapidly. I mean, I tried to I tried to suspend my... Not dislike of Bill Murray. It's not yeah. a dislike at all. It's just that he does grandstand. And I feel as he's got older, he really just wants to look at the camera and everybody fall on the floor saying, oh my God, it's Bill Murray. Isn't he wonderful? Before he does anything. Mm. And that sort of slightly gets to What I hear me. about him is he's not that sort of guy at all. No, I think, I think people are just drawn unfair. to that in him. I just think yeah. it's some... It's a part of it. I mean, I thought... Maybe that's very unfair. I thought he did poignancy really nicely. I thought when he but hugged her... But her... St yes, yes. When he and held her, when he left her. And I loved this... I mean, there were some lines that were so fatherly that I thought mm. were lovely, you know, like, he better... You know, he ought to be looking at... Treating you as the best thing in the well, world. I, it reminded me of you. And I have to say, I mean, I texted Izzy in the middle of it saying, you have to watch this film. I texted, I texted Maddie I texted and Keith. I texted Maddie Keith and Fleur saying, you've all got to watch On the Rocks. This is how I'm going to be if anyone ever does anything wrong to you. I thought Marlon Wayans, he's oh, who's one who of the plays our husband. Brothers. Who are the Wayans brothers? They, they used to be in loads of films like Jump, uh, Base Basketball films. Oh, Scary Movie. Them. He's from Scary Movie yeah. and White Chicks. He was in Requiem yeah. for a Dream as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I thought he was great. And I, I thought did. he did a much better job, interestingly, of another recent film we've reviewed, Rebecca, of playing the... Uh, I genuinely didn't know if he was having an oh, affair. Oh, didn't you? I sort of did. So I thought what was clever about it, it was more a film about should one pry further if one has suspicions yeah. so there's the whole father daughter thing and it really resonated for me because that's the kind of protective dad i will be i could see yeah. myself swanning up and doing all of that yeah. sort of stuff um the fact that he was a cad and a charmer and the woman who yes. wanted to sell the hockney and I, it reminded me of so many moments where i've been to bars in soho with izzy much you know yeah, years some ago of those were very funny where they're very, dropping, name dropping like name mad. dropping like mad and you know and he's this roguish old guy and and she says at one point god it must be so nice being you i know because he just gets what he wants because he's such a charmer at some point like you didn't just come here just to offer for yeah. david hockney did you, you yeah know? absolutely so i thought well, that was nice but i thought it was also an interesting film and this is where again it did that woody allen thing that woody Alan used to do and I sort of miss in films now which is it set me off exploring the rights and wrongs of whether one should pry you know so when she went to go into his phone and she saw that there was no text 
I immediately read that exactly as Bill Murray then said to her, that's more suspicious. Yeah. So I thought it played very well on that idea of, of loving your partner, trusting your partner, but, but if something flags up as a red flag and you, mm. you've got an issue, mm. should you follow through on it? Yeah. And I thought Bill Murray played a really, you know, the, you know, in the old fashioned cartoons, Tom and Jerry, where you'd have a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the yeah. other. And the devil's telling you to do this and the angel's Absolutely. telling you. Absolutely. And I thought he was great because he was clearly cast as the devil yeah. in her mind. Yeah. Uh, and you were left thinking, you're not a very good dad, actually. No. She's chosen much better than you. Absolutely. And I like that. So I thought, I thought, and I thought she did a really good job of your of great. matching I him. Of to matching. See more of her. Yeah, yeah, she was great. Very subtle, very low key. And for me, it really did its job. I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. But you didn't. Well, I still come on, don't go wavy. You hated it. You I said know, you, no, you I were underwhelmed. I, I, were... I said it reminded me of an early Woody Allen film. Right. Now, nobody could have loved Woody Allen at the time more than me. No. It's like a discursive sort of comedy of manners. And I always thought of Woody Allen as sort of a modern day Jane Austen. Mm. It's sort of the right, it's all in the writing. Mm. And in, in, in that the woman was brilliant, the writing was good. And Bill Murray, up to a point, was great. <laughs> I mean, he was giving you what you expected to get. And also, so I didn't, did, no, 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 it wasn't that at all. I was underwhelmed in the sense that it made me interrogate all of her other films and she is Hollywood royalty and I sort of started to think. Is she trading on reputation? Yeah, uh, absolutely, absolutely. I just got, I've got a really strong theory on this. Oh, go on. I think you were disappointed because you went to the extra, extraordinary, given the pandemic, lengths of going to the cinema to see it. Yeah. I cruised into my lounge, kicked back, flicked it on, turned it on. Wow. Oh, that's brilliant. Actually, that was 90 that's minutes really of brilliance. interesting, yeah, observation because yeah. Of, of the films that I've managed to get to the cinema to see, which, as Mott just said, is a difficult business at Yeah, the moment, it is. That was the one that drew the most people. Right. And I felt that there was a general, uh, um, which you don't get anymore because none of us go to the cinema, yeah. cinema feeling of disappointment. So maybe I picked up on that as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Whereas for me... I would recommend, if you've got Apple TV, plop this on for 90 Actually, minutes and you will true. be beautifully distracted. Because I would have loved it of an mm. evening at home. And, you know, it's just light, watching, yeah. it's tasty, it's fun, it's funny, it's thought-provoking. It gave me the, the sounds. I just closed my eye on one, eyes on one sequence, <laughs> my eye <laughs> on one sequence, and I just listened to that nighttime music. music of New York sound, Streets. And it made me pine for our trip that we didn't get to do. And mm -hmm. it made me just I think, oh, I can't wait for us to go back. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the way that Woody Allen, yeah, I just a love was... story to New York. Yeah, really, way. really. And, and also, there, there's enough in the premise, and I felt that this was very true as well, that forget for, forget my feelings about mm. Bill Murray. He was acting the part of a roguish mm. roué, wasn't he? Yeah. But, but um, and one either loves him, depending on how much you love him for that, but the actual little set pieces of where they were following him, I mean, that has always got to be funny because mm. the the bit of you that he, the, the guy who played her husband was charming. What about when he meets him on the doorstep? Well, exactly, but also, a good scene. yeah, but also the thing where they're, they're both watching him with the group of things and everybody, and I mean, one could say in one sense, I was thinking, of course, he's not having an affair. Of course, it's ridiculous. Well, I didn't but know. you're very, very tense oh, yeah. thinking, oh, don't put your arm around her. Don't kiss her because mm. you don't want the girl to be hurt. And you're thinking, and you know, what kind of perverse relish is Bill Murray getting? You know, the exactly. dad getting out of this because he's, exactly. he's really into it. He's really in that it, sort of way that men, he's more into the narrative than the implications for his daughter. Which is why, why that line is so key where yeah. she says, um, Why yeah. are you doing this? Why, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Don't, just don't be having such a good time. Yeah, don't be having such a good time yeah, because my life is on the rocks. Yeah, and that's yeah. the title. But, but because she's so good and the way her character's written so well, she, she reminded me of people, again, in the old Woody Allen films, where that comes out very mm. funnily. She's mm. very good at sort of very bringing good. herself, sort of. You know. I loved her. I thought, I thought it was yeah, a real, real landing part for her. I did. Just, for, you see, for me, I can never tire of moments like when he said at the party, walk backwards out of here, people. <laughs> I am going to do that. Because, of course, every, you just see them walk backwards out of the that party. Bill that's Bill it's Murray. It's a classic very best. Bill Murray. Classic yeah. Bill Murray. Um, okay, I well, imagine he actually does that. Okay, well, in summary, I thought uh, I kind of have summed up. I mean, I thought it was charming. Mm. I thought it was fun. It really resonated for me as a dad. It made me think about all my daughters. It made me worry for all my daughters' boyfriends and partners. All of you. Worry. Um, 
I really loved the challenge of how much he was relishing this kind of story because he wanted to get to the bottom of something and how that overwhelmed really what was right for his daughter. Yeah. I loved the way it made me think about what's the right level at which to kind of be interested in what your partner's doing or not interested. I like the fact that I didn't know whether he was or wasn't having an affair and I'll trim that earlier so you won't know either way so mm -hmm. there's no, no spoiler. Mm -hmm. I thought the husband was very good. I, I thought the support rock cast were very good. I thought it was... And it was very, very nicely shot. It was not a big showy film. No, it's, no. A, it's a low cruising deviation, but it's perfect for streaming, perfect for Apple TV. Yeah, and I is. would give it, I'd give it 90 out of 100. Oh, would you? Mm. Okay, well, everything that you said I would agree with are beautifully written, beautifully observed, comedy of manners, really. Mm. Um, and I think it will depend on how much you love Bill Murray, whether how where on the graph you come yeah and it but he's very good at what he does and um i could have just done with slightly less of him right um i can't get too much no uh, yeah. yeah but i felt that was that yeah, was yeah. in this sort of it's it, the essence of the film in a way right. nobody could get enough of it yeah, yeah. but um but all together no i love the new york bits i love the it made me very sort of uh, but the bit about going to the cinema is very true i think mm. i've made such an effort and i was trying to choose between mm. a few films that i knew nothing about that i sort of was a bit mm. disappointed but having said all of that, it did tick an awful lot of boxes, so I would give it 80. Okay, 80. 80. Yeah, it's yeah, more than 80. I thought you were going to give it. Yeah. Have I dragged you up? Have I dragged your score no, up? No, no, no. I mean, it, it was only really Bill Murray, and, and you, one can't d demote the film just for Bill Murray mm. because he's playing the part that she's written for him. I think she's very, I do think she's very good at sort of contemporary interior situations and scenes. She's very good at letting natural scenes. Yeah just evolve own... yeah and depending on the strength of the actors in them that you know i don't know there's a sort of granular sense to them and i do remember that with the virgin suicide so i i, I don't know I, I thought it was kind of return to form for me I, having oh, said okay. that i really like the beguiled i was i forgot that she'd made yeah, the beguiled well, I, so I hadn't maybe, seen I, so maybe i like sophia coppola's films yeah maybe <laughs> maybe for more film and family fun don't forget to click the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to never miss an update